Okay, so we're going to start by using a hard accu ball uh, or a hockey ball or a tennis ball, whatever you can find. You can even use a golf ball, which will give you a little bit more um, higher acute pressure on the piriformis. And we're going to really do some pressure waves through the piriformis. And the piriformis is that really deep muscle that sits in behind the glute max, which gets quite tight. So we're going to start just by sitting on top of the ball. Your athletes will be able to find the spot quite quickly. And then all we want to do is just some nice pressure waves from left to right. The athletes might want to lift and open here so that they get a little bit more stretch in the piriformis as they go. Allow a little bit of cross friction as well. So cross friction just means that we're going to rub across the muscle, whereas a pressure wave you're running along the length of the muscle. And also, if you find any real trigger spots or hot spots, you can just let the, um, the ball melt into that spot there. So we're going to do that on both sides, cross it to the other side. So remember, you can just sit with both feet together and just run a pressure wave through. It's a little bit slippery on this mat. You can take the leg up into the seated figure four. Really sit into the ball. And again, you can do those pressure waves. If you find any real trigger points or hot spots, just sink in and let the acu ball do its work. Just apply that pressure for about 30 to 45 seconds. And again, you can do that little bit of cross friction work where you're running across the muscle rather than across the length of the muscle. And that's the acu ball piriformis release.